And we are live, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Toe the Line with me, George Glinsky. Today, joined by the World Super Welterweight Champion, Mr. Daniel Lower. How are we doing? How are you, George? George, can I just ask you one thing before we start? <laughs> what name What name did I put up for you? I forgot. <laughs> so you're not going to be able to see this at home, but uh, if people, anyone knows Zoom, you've got your names, display names underneath. And Dan has come in with the name George Loves Penis Up the Bummy, which is there we are. quite poor English, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm an old one who I was in the Ali G days, right? <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely original. I've not had that one before. It yeah, does have the bunny. That's um, yeah, that's an original. Wait, just, 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 just go on with the interview. But well, yeah, we'll just pretend that this this didn't happen. Um, yeah. You've got a massive fight coming up on the 11th. Yeah, defending your title against Dan McGraffin. Um, yeah, from outside three and zero knuckle box on the regional <laughs> circuit, British European title champion. He's got a you know a decent level of credentials so what has the general reaction been like from fans and, and from yourself as well that this fight has been announced uh, it's a fight isn't it I, I just did they phone me up they said do you want to fight them I said yeah <laughs> same as same as always George um I, I know he beat David round um an old friend of mine uh I know he's got to go, you know, he's, he's European, I think he's European Cruiserweight champion, is he, in, in another promotion or something like that, a British champion yeah. or something like that, a world champion. I, I know he's a good fighter, yeah. A nice right, your lovely right hand. Mm -hmm. So I won't be catching my gum sheet this time. Protect yourself at all times, George. <laughs> yeah, he's he's coming in, you know, on his debut, but he's, he's been here before. It was BKB18. He was uh, originally set to face Darren Hendry. He's he's gone off. He's he's gone on to the regional circuit. He's won three fights and he's he's built up a you know a decent record and he's coming in. Well, I didn't know that. Can you just told me, George? As a hot prospect, yeah. So this is the thing I didn't realize. But you haven't done any research on him. You don't know too much about Dan. I, I don't really research any fight, there, George. To be honest, um, who knows? I'm like I'm, I'm always the same. I, I you know I, I don't know nothing about Dan. Um, I know I know he's a fighter. He comes to fight. He got, I, I know he got a tidy right hand. Mm -hmm. and that's about it. But I saw, so I saw in the comment section when he signed that you asked, you know, which which weight is he? And then there was yeah. sort of, it seemed as though the two of you almost agreed to a fight in the comment section of his, yeah, his because signing post. I only said that because it looked like if Jim and Joe were making a big deal about him, and I thought, oh, he's obviously a half decent fighter, obviously. Yeah. So Dan versus Dan sounds good. <laughs> It does make sense. It does make sense. What do you make of the fact that he's, you know, he's coming in on his his BKB debut? I know he's had bare knuckle experience outside. What do you make of the fact that he's he's going straight into a world title fight? That's not that's not, that's not down to me, is it? It's down to Jim and Joe. Is if they think the match is right, the match is right, isn't it? So, you know, um, it's just one of those things, isn't it? It's, if if they think he's got enough to fight for the world title, then obviously he is. You've got yeah. to respect that. We've got to respect a man, you know, coming in on his debut and fighting, you know, a top 10 pound for pound guy, one of the one of the best fighters in the sport in yourself. I know you don't don't like that, those plaudits, no. but you are one of the one of the top boys in the sport. Yeah, well, that's all he says. <laughs> <laughs> but have you have you have you spoken at all? Has there been any interaction outside of that Facebook post, or is it just you know business? No, no, just um comments. I said that, you know, as, as I do with everyone, I wish him a good camp and a safe camp, and uh, I see him in June. Yeah, so you've had your opportunities to to see him him fight and him train. So, with that in mind, what sort of a, a fight are you expecting? I guess I ain't going back to old school. I ain't going back to my old school ways. I'm not coming to box this time. I'm coming to take someone's head off, George. I I I, I tried boxing there. They went all the way. Tried mm. boxing Anthony, and I got knocked fucking out. Mm. So I'm just coming to I'm just coming to take heads off from now on. I'm just coming to sling these bombs and uh, wait for one on the land. You're not, a, you're not a man with a with an ego, as I say. So I no. suppose that the recovery from the Anthony Holmes fight was was fairly swift. What was what was that process like after the defeat? Obviously, it was it's quite an emphatic finish. Well, it, 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 it's just one of those things, isn't it? It's bare knuckle boxing. Hmm. I mean, I turned. I, I think I, I should have took a long account the first one, the first uh, time. Um, I think I was still a bit stunned, but I felt like I thought my gum shield was coming out. So I turned to catch it. Yeah. 
and I call the right hand instead. <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as that, George. There's no, there's no stories about it. Protect yourself at all times. My own fault. <laughs> it was uh, you, you put it you put it beautifully there to be fair, but yeah, it was, uh, it was it was you know your first your first defeat in in bare knuckle boxing, but it hasn't yeah. as I say, it hasn't affected you the same way it would other oh. fighters. No, it, it don't affect me at all, mate. At the end of the day, I I lost before. I'll probably end up losing again. Um, it's just one of those things in a fight game. There's not many. There's not many. Uh, there's not many BKB boys that goes five and old, George. Very true. Very true. So you know, I was lucky, I was lucky to go five and old. To be honest, the lucky punches. Lucky punches. Lucky, lucky little punches. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So, are we expecting um, similar to that? Obviously, you've said that you're, you're not wanting to box. You're coming in there to take heads off. Uh, you know, I, I do want to box because I, I think Anthony plays it down a bit. I, I know, I know, he beat me, beat me fair and square, but he, you know, he's brought a few posts saying that no one's been on his level and this and that. I think, I think I won the first two rounds according to the judges. Hmm. I think, yeah. I think he's a bit surprised in my jab. Um, I cut him quite bad. You know, you know, I, I, I look at the positives from it before I got knocked out, didn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I, I thought I boxed well, and I, they, um, I thought I, my hands were too low. You will fight, mm-hmm. so that's something I'm going to work on. Um, bit of a stubborn bastard because I think it's going to take a punch. You, you, you can't in bare knuckle just one hit, one shot, and you out. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, you know, I'm confident that uh, I'll get the rematch in time, um, and it'll be a different story. Well, where would you? What sort of weight would you look at for the rematch? Would it be a, a similar weight, or would you want him to come down? And... If it's a rematch, it Anthony be any weight. Anyway, um, that's why I'm working towards. You know, I, I can't come in and demand the rematch at Anthony straight away because obviously the guy beat me. The guy's a world champion. The guy got decisions. You know, um, and I'll just work my way back up to the rematch. And when the, when the time's right, and, and the promoters think the time's right, I'll be there to fight them. Do you reckon uh, a win over Dan McGraffin would logically put you in the right position to be calling for that rematch? Uh, no, one win, perhaps not. Perhaps two wins, three wins, perhaps. But um, I'll, I'll, I, I will be fighting for that rematch yeah. at some point. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about yeah. preparation. You've, you've changed trainers. You, you seem to have a, a new lease of life. Um, you know, a new training pattern. It's always difficult, isn't it? Changing trainers. You've, you've had three trainers, I think, in the last year and a um, half. Constantly with Jason, I, well, I thought I'd never leave Jason, to be honest with you, but things, shit happens, doesn't it? Um, I was with a fantastic guy, Josh, then. Amazing guy, Josh. Amazing strength condition, amazing boxer. He started his own career now, going pro. Yeah. Um, and me being 35, I, I don't want to get in his way. I, I, I don't want to nag him for training and do you know what I mean? I, I want him to do his best he can. He's only young. He's, I think he's 24, 25. Yeah. Young prospect coming up. And I, I, I hope he does really well. I, I'll be still doing strength and conditioning with Josh through this camp. Um, I'll still be going, I'll going out out sparring and stuff like that. Um, um, but jo- I can't say, but Josh is amazing, mate. Yeah. Um, a lovely guy. But the, again, the trainer I got now is also amazing. He's an uh, undefeated pro boxer. Um, if you look him up, he was in a prize fight there. He, he, you know, he's done a lot in pro boxing. Uh, Ricky Owen. Um, and I'll be back on for him and his brother, Thomas. So yeah, it's it's gonna it's gonna it should be good. You've obviously mentioned his his career as a, a boxer, but what's he like as a trainer? Does he does he crack the whip? What's what's training on like under Ricky Owen? I've been with him two weeks now. Um and he's I, I, because I, I learn quick. Obviously, I, I, I'm a quick learner, and he showed me a few things already that would have helped me against Anthony Holmes. Um, yeah, but it's one of those things, isn't it? Mm. You meet different people. I like learning different things. I know I, Mason Shaw camp. I was training with Jason, yeah, but I was working away a lot. Mm. So out out of the twelve weeks camp or eight weeks camp, wherever it was, I spent fifty percent of my time training elsewhere mm. in different gyms. I trained with Paul Hills. Yeah, that was a good that was a good sparring session. I was we would love to see that. Um, I trained with Tony Biden's gym, Tony. Yeah. I think it's Og Gareth Og, is it Gareth? Yeah, Gareth. Yeah, fantastic trainer. Um, I sparred Ricky Summers up there. Yeah, I, you know that camp was brilliant. 
and I learned different things. And obviously, I come in and stop Mason in the first round. I, I, but um, I think with Andy Holmes, I was, I was a bit too relaxed. Yeah. Um, I think that's what it was. That's, that's the main thing. But I lost, eh? I don't make excuses. I lost a better man. He's a fantastic fighter. And... You know, as I said, I'll be working way up the rematch, and I hope I get the rematch. I hope I, I, I get enough wins to get the rematch. Will you be doing that again? You, you mentioned about going to other gyms. Will you be taking sparring with other BKB fighters, you know, taking a little bit of a variety? Um, I'll be sparring everywhere this time, yeah. I'll be um, I'll be chucking a lot more sparring this time. Um, my diet will be a lot better this time. Um, my diet was great last time, but I had a few... few uh, Problems with myself, we won't go into that. Yeah. But um, everything is going to be on cue this time. And providing you win, we, we had a bet. I'll I'll put it on camera because I think I have to. Uh, if if yeah. Daniel Lowell defeats Stan McGrappin, we actually, he was, he was trying to get me to do this for this interview, but I said, you know, you've got to achieve something first. Um, so no, I didn't. You pink... said, you said you couldn't go and buy a pink wig and a dicky <laughs> That's that's the truth. We're it's adding, kind of the truth. But Dan, we're adding a bet to it now, so it's even more exciting. So yeah, the home it's even more exciting. Right you know, there's there's a little, there's a little bit of investment. So a pink wig and a, and a dicky bow. I have to wear for our a dicky our... bow. What, what is not it? just any dicky bow. Not just any dicky. It's got to be a dicky bow I supply. <laughs> have you got Do it you on know you now, George? What? Have you got it on you now? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> it'd be worse than that, George. <laughs> so this is this is a general bit of investment. So if you've got to this part of the interview, then you know you're going to know that I'm going to look like a complete idiot providing uh, low or defeats for graph. You know, I'm I'm usually uh, a very neutral uh, spectator, but on this one, I, I might be swaying one side more than the other. We don't know. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the <laughs> the fight will be uh, live on Fight TV. AXS.com yeah. for tickets. So finally, Daniel, any last words, anything, any you know, sponsors you want to shout out, a message to the fans, anything you want to... Yeah, I, um, I got um, a new sponsor, Hog Brothers. I got a Paula, the graphic design team. Mm -hmm. they, they, they're doing all my graphic design this time. Gavin Griffiths. And I got most of my old sponsors, which um, are fantastic, you know. They, they've been with me since the beginning. Uh, I can't thank them enough, all of them. It's, it's too many to name because I haven't wrote them. You didn't, didn't tell me to write them down, did you? <sighs> but, uh, the main ones, mate, Gavin Griffiths, Absolute Motocross, uh, Premier Windows, Smiles Photos have gone in liquidation, poo buggers, and they've been with me since the beginning. So yeah. I'm wishing Reach the best. I'm wishing he gets back up and running and i uh, about as much as I can. Um, who else? There's loads more. Mr. Bins? Well, how can I forget Mr. Bins? Um, Mr. Bins. I got to give a big shout out to Rose Hill football team. Mm -hmm. They're a football team, George. I got to give them a shout out. They're a football team that accepts special needs kids. So autism, any special needs. Yeah. And Craig Bowles and Stacey Bowles, they're doing a fantastic job. It's a community football team. They, they, they with the kids all week training them with them on a Sunday playing football and I, I gotta be honest it's probably the best team in Britain the yeah. best kids team in Britain period so I'll give them a shout out they're always on my kit from now on um, obviously then um, we got um, I said Gavin Griffiths don't I yes yeah yeah Gavin Griffiths is brilliant uh, Premier Windows Mr Bins Hemp Heroes I said, Lord, why are you tell me to write them down, George? I got, Lord, I, I got a few. So what Johnny Blades Barbers. Blades Barbers. That's that's quite Johnny a few. Blades. Anyone, anyone yeah. you've missed, anyone you've missed, we'll get them in the comments below. Yeah. I have a great habit of this. This is one of my weaknesses. Well, anyone I missed, I'm so sorry. You've been with me from the beginning, I know, but I just blanked out completely. I am blonde and I am tired. <laughs> So, as I say, anyone that uh, sponsors Dan Sports Dan will get those down in the comments below. It's, it's more me than Dan, to be honest. What's Mason Bros? There's another one seeing <clears> me from the beginning. Here we are. See, I'm starting to, I'm starting to come back now. Yeah. There's a, lot, there's, yeah. A lot of support. there's a lot of support. I got a lot of support, mate. I, I've always had a lot of support. And um, 
I know, I, and the way the world's going, I know everyone's a bit skint, and I, I can't thank them enough. Um, I know also guys are buying tickets. Um, I got a list for paper tickets already because the Welsh don't seem to like to go on in the link. No? No, we'd, we'd, we'd a bit shy of the links. <laughs> we'd rather paper in our hands. <laughs> Oh, I wonder why that is. Vicious speculation. <laughs> we'd, be, we'd be wary of the old links. You know? <laughs> oh, well, it's always entertaining speaking to you, Dan. Um, yeah. We'll speak again on the night. We'll, we'll get everything sorted. I, I'm bringing the pink wig. You're bringing the dicky bow. So we'll yes. get that sorted. But yeah. yeah, but this is what I'm understanding. You can only wear just the pink wig and just the dicky bow. Nothing else. Oh no, no, no. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely not. That is not the agreement. Let I will show you Katie Gunn what you got. <laughs> oh, you agree to it, George? Get the small I, I want this on camera. Agree. I did not agree to this. You it's... didn't ask the small print, George. <laughs> oh, okay, well. Dan, I really look forward to seeing you on the night in, uh, yeah. in, in a full, fully clothed with a dicky bow and a pink wig. So, yeah, best of luck, mate, and I'll see you on the night. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, George, mate. See you soon.